My name is Andreas and this is the pitch for my FMP. For my FMP I'll be creating a magazine based on fashion. Throughout the magazine I'll be discussing topics such as how different cultures around the world have impacted today's fashion, the history of fashion, a fashion world ride, comparing it to how it is in London. Um, I chose to create a magazine because I feel like I could be more creative on print work, such as um, photography and creating magazines, such as um, instead of creating video based ideas. I chose to create this topic because um, I'm, I have a keen interest in fashion, but I feel like I don't know the whole industry as well, such as other cultures and worldwide. So I chose to do that to educate myself and also other people that would read my magazine. This is my mood board. They're not all fashion magazines, but I like the style and how they're edited. They're all quite different, but I like how some of them are quite plain, but some of them have like writing on them. But at the same time, they look quite classic and plain. Mm. Um, so for research, I'll be um, looking at other magazines, comparing them to what I want mine to look like. Um, I'll also be creating questionnaires, getting my target audiences see what they want to see in my magazine and what they will read. My target audience will be 16 to 30. I chose such a wide target audience because I feel like I'll be discussing the history of fashion. So I feel like older people also want to read it to see what I have to say about fashion when they were my age. And also it will um, be suitable for all social classes because it will be affordable, all ethnicities, all religions and both genders. These are some of the locations that I'll be using when I go to my photo shoot to take the images for my magazine. As throughout the magazine, I'll be using all of my own images. Some of the um, equipment I'll need is a camera, a tripod, lighting. I'll be using the studio um, for like the main image on the front cover and a few within the magazine, but will mostly be natural lighting like, from outside, from different locations. Um, some of the things that I may struggle with is lack of time, using the software, finding locations and booking a studio. But to overcome these problems, I just need to give myself more time to create certain things, such as when going out on photo shoots, choosing the right location, I need to do all this beforehand. And editing the images, I just need to teach myself how to use software, because I'll be using InDesign, InDesign to create my magazine. And I don't know entirely how to use the software like that good, so I'll be educating myself at the same time. And that's it. Okay, she's sweet. Yeah, that's what it's like. Yep. Right, can we have some questions about the magazine? Is it is it is it entirely a is it just is it, I'm not saying that you know might well a really good magazine is enough, but is it just the magazine? Yeah. Right. And what about the photographs as well? What do you mean the photo? Are you, you're, are you, you're doing most... I'll be taking all my own images. I won't be using images from the internet or anything. Right, good. No, I've got other people's models. Where are you going to be taking the photos? So, on the list of locations, I'll be taking them in those locations. What sort of people are you, are you, are you using? Are they... What do you mean? Are they like models? Are they proper models? Or are they just... They're not proper models, but... But they'll, they'll do like they'll, but, I can use them. Is that the idea? The fact that they are just, they are just sort of yeah because it's not high end fashion. Yeah, it's not designer. It's quite urban or just normal like fashion. So they don't have to be like models or specific people. They could be just just normal. Yeah. So like I'll I'll be telling them like what to wear and stuff. So I won't say I'll just come and do it. Yeah. I'll be telling them what to wear and I'll be taking the pictures of how I want them to look. I won't be I'll just come like wear what you want and I'll like. Always don't plan it beforehand. Sure. How are you treating the pictures? Are they? Are you thinking of them as as as, as fashion pictures, but or, or are you thinking of them as being sort of like art, kind of art fashion pictures? Do you know what I mean? It's so, both. So yeah. it's, the topic is fashion, but I want to be quite creative when it comes to yeah. taking the pictures. I don't want it just to look like a normal like picture of someone wearing clothes. That's why I chose those locations. I want to try and make it a bit interesting. Yeah. And then I'll be editing the pictures in Photoshop, then importing it to InDesign or I'll create the magazine. Well, you've obviously thought thought about the visual side of the magazine and the design side. Mm -hmm. Also, you need to think about the graphics and the way that the typography and that sort of thing. Yeah. Are you also thinking about the sorts of articles that you might be writing, or is it? Yeah. So the main article would be how different cultures throughout the world have impacted how today's fashion is, 
I'll also compare it to our fashion was before talking about the history and then comparing like different countries because everywhere around the world fashion is different. So I'll be comparing it to how it is in London and then how like the different impacts have gone around. It sounds a little bit like sort of the way that the vice, you know, vice would approach it and they do things on like fashion as well. I don't know how that is. But I also got a student in my tutor group who's doing a fashion magazine, but the way she's approaching it is she's actually going to look at the models that are involved in it. Yeah. And she is going to look at young aspiring models yeah. and talk to them about all the issues of, of the trans people model, you know, health issues and drugs, diet and all that stuff and the pressures of trying to keep your looks and all that. And it's, um, do you have a particular angle yourself or is it just, she's got a particular angle in terms of her magazine? Do you feel that your magazine has got any particular sort of... What do you bring to the party in terms of your magazine? Why is your magazine any different to it? Well, personally, I haven't seen any magazines talking about how different impacts have impacted fashion, different cultures, talking about the history. Right, right, okay. Yeah. I haven't seen any magazines yeah. that have done all of that. And all the magazines that I have seen with fashion is just plain images of just someone wearing clothes. It's not, like, different when it comes to taking the images or how they've edited them. It's either black and white or just a model wearing clothes. So I thought I'd be quite creative and different and taking the images and also writing articles that I haven't seen before, such as you know, cultures impacting space fashion. Right. Okay. Anybody else? Very interesting. Thank you. Sorry.